All right, guys, kids are at camp. We cleaned the whole house. It's a perfect time to show you the new house we live in and kind of give you a, a small room tour. So here we go. Press like, subscribe if you're new here. Let's go. What are you, what are you doing there? Uh, laundry. <laughs> oh my, it looks looks very bad. We, we don't go there. Yeah, we don't go there. It's it's what you called unfinished basement, but it's hard to say that it's a basement. It's just cave. I don't know who designed this kitchen when uh, the house was built like 100 years ago. Maybe they didn't cook 100 years ago. This is impossible to use this kitchen functionally and effectively unless you add a couple of items to it. So we have- Un Unless you don't cook at home. That's what I'm saying. This kitchen is for people who don't cook at home. Or they cook like frozen pizza, which I do too, but <laughs> not every day. So we have the stove, uh, which didn't have any countertop next to it. So when you cook, you have to hold everything in your hands or put it right next to the overall. Like it's not functional, but there's a pantry, fridge and a couple of cupboards. That's basically it. Hey, hey, hey. hey. And there's a toilet from the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> this is... This is the part that I like the most. Not not because I like toilets, but you know, it's a private private time. It's so weird to have a toilet in toilet the in the kitchen. So you you sit here and you're like, no. hey honey, what's for dinner? You have to close. The door. Oh, cl close the door. <laughs> I remember these doors like in my childhood in old apartments uh, in Ukraine. They way out to the backyard and to the deck. We actually use this door uh, more than a front yard because we park a car there and it's kind of closer. Yeah, so it's you, more you you have to keep your shoes here. You see the only one pair of shoes, but yeah, there's a lot of shoes here, which is not really cool because it's a kitchen and you have your shoes there. Also, what we did, there was an entrance, like um, a path, pathway to the hallway, to the uh, to the front door, which we didn't need, so we closed it and bought these items from IKEA, this and this. So it became more functional and it has so much space, like storage space. And we also added this um, kitchen island, which we bought uh, in a thrift store for maybe 40 bucks. <laughs> and it worked just perfectly. Everything in this living room slash dining room is thrifted. These chairs were donated. We bought this awesome IKEA table secondhand and it is in the perfect condition. Like, it's like you, literally. It's actually remind us our home back, uh, table back at home. So it's pretty much the same size and pretty much the same color. It yeah, it's just that this is veneer and our table at home was like crazy expensive. I, I don't wood. care. I don't care. It looks the same. <laughs> we also thrifted this couch and an armchair in a um, restore, have it for humanity thrift store. It was awesome. But then we it cost us like 125 bucks for both of these and they look like new. There are no spots except those ones. Those are kids, <laughs> <laughs> but they were like almost new when we bought it. And then we spent her eighty dollars for cleaning them. Like no, no, you said cleaning. it wrong. Hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah, like we spent more for cleaning of these uh, items than we bought them for. The biggest financial mistake well, we did not so far. Not this financial mistake. We were expecting something we got in Ukraine, and we regularly did the cleaning of our couches in Ukraine because like kids come from outside and it, it catches dust and debris and stuff, and we prefer to like professionally clean couches and once it, or twice a year. It was nothing like we used yeah. to. So. <laughs> It was just, he covered it, sprayed it a little, vacuumed it a little and left. It was a mistake well, it to was order. Well, it was a powerful va vacuum, I guess, and some specific like chemicals used, but still like, I would prefer something more in-depth cleaning. This uh, rock we bought in IKEA Circular Hub. It was a uh, return for, by some client before. This TV stand is IKEA also. We love IKEA. Uh, it was secondhand. You probably <laughs> have t uh, questions about the huge TV. First, 
what we need to say is that because we saved so much money buying secondhand furniture and yeah. secondhand everything, everything. <laughs> yeah, we could afford a huge TV. But also, we want to say a huge thank you to everyone who used our wish list and bought us uh, Amazon gift cards because we kind of saved them and then used them all to buy this TV. So thank you very much. It actually covered like a quarter of the price of yeah. the TV. So this is incredible, guys. Yeah, like, thank you very so much. There's so many items in this house which we got from our wish list from you. We honestly never expected that. And we were, uh, when we got a request for our Amazon wishes, we were like, <laughs> what is that? Like, who would buy something? We, we should start with uh, there's this. nothing like wish list and, and technically. In Ukraine, there's yeah. no like huge store with functionality of wish list that someone can buy. So this whole thing is like new to us. So again, thank you. So we also kind of have a fireplace. It's that one. I suppose it's electric. It's an insert um, item and it doesn't work. So we just covered it with the couch and we plan to have a Christmas tree here. It's an empty space and I do love empty spaces in my house. Like I prefer not to put anything in some corners so that my eye had some place to rest on. I also want to draw your attention to the lightning uh, lighting in this room. So you see the uh, uh, chandelier. A chandelier right there and you see the spot for it. I don't know if you see it, but there's a spot for it here. N nothing there. It's design. That's design. This is the entry. Uh, this is the front door. And this is basically it. Like, we don't have any space to hang our coats and put our shoes to, so we decided to close that thing, that hole in the wall to the kitchen. I showed it to you uh, from the other side. And here we plan to uh, use this space as a wardrobe for coats, bags, shoes and stuff. And it's just not just that house. Uh, I've been, we've been to few houses houses already here in Canada and it's uh, it seems like you don't think about the space right next to a front door to leave your shoes to leave your coat like uh, it could be not a, a, a smallest house but there's no space for that kind of stuff it's or it's just pretty far so you have to walk with your dirty winter shoes across the whole room and then just take it off which is nothing like we used to because everything in ukraine when you get into an apartment or a house you like uh, take your stuff out, you put, take your shoes off right next to the door. So there's no space here. So we kind of... Yeah, and I looked at many houses online, like for buying and for renting. And most of the houses, they have like, and like the front door entering right straight into the kitchen or a living room. And there's like, if here we can organize a place uh, to uh, hang coats and keep shoes. There are so many houses that don't even have the space to use uh, for this purpose. So it's kind of look cool on pictures, but uh, when it gets to a point where when you live there, it gets messy probably. This is our uh, musical stair staircase, stairway, stair staircase. You should listen to it. It's fine. Yeah, it's wooden. It's not fine. It's it shouldn't be wood. that loud. I mean, yeah, the house is old. It's kind of, it's uh, almost a hundred years. So this house is quite small, but it's very functional. I love that it doesn't have any useless spaces, like you know, like millions of dining rooms and sitting rooms and rooms for doing nothing with a chair or a table. Like I love this about this house that it only has the functional areas. Man. <laughs> Cut it out. We're filming. You you show your fat belly. What is that? What is that, man? It's his six pack. What's <laughs> six pack? It's man. his six pack. <laughs> what is that? Okay, let's let's continue. So this is the smallest bedroom, and it's just perfect for him. I think it's just as big as his room back in Ukraine, actually. It's just a little bit wider and shorter. It's so funny. Uh, this house reminds us our home so much, like. Back home, 
his room where the same room where Katya had her uh, working space, yeah. wor working desk. So we decided to put it the same room and it's kind of very cool. Yeah, uh, this room has the biggest wardrobe, which is uh, currently used as a wardrobe and a storage. Don't pay attention. No, it's like, okay. <laughs> this is our oldest daughter's room and she decorated it and came up with the design and color scheme and idea by herself. We had to buy everything for her, but still. She has a really good taste. She was dreaming about having these blinds and uh, fairy lights on the ceiling. And so she really... A lot of green stuff and it's all live, live right? It's yeah, not fake. Yeah, those are uh, live plants. plants. Yeah. This is obviously fake, but yeah, this is fake, but cool. I don't know how to turn it on. Oh, I think I know. On. Oh, yeah. she even have lights. Oh my gosh, this is very cool. It's really nice. Like, um, she likes her stuff organized and structured. She had a picture of her friends, her working desk. Let's, yeah, let's get out of here because she's going to be mad that we're here. Actually, back at home, our kids were um, living in the same way they live here. So Vanya was separate because he can wake up in the night and start singing songs. Vasya was separate in her separate room because she's the oldest one. She used to have friends over and she needs her own space. And the little ones live in the same room because they're almost the same age and they have so much in common. They play together. This is their room. I think this is the most um, light room, like, light lit room in the house and i love it about this room and um it doesn't look big actually like how much space do you need to play it's fine we thought about putting a uh, bunk bed here but then bunk beds were too expensive and we found one of those beds used so we bought another one new and i think it works perfect i actually haven't seen these uh, posters yet when did you put them? Uh, a few days ago before they left the camp. Okay. They, they also have their uh, closet, which, yeah. which we try to arrange the, the cheapest possible way. Yeah, because um, we don't know where we're gonna live like in a year or two or three or five. And everything we bought, we bought uh, with a thought of multi-functionality and it has to fit any house and any room in the future. This is the bathroom. Um, we had a huge bath, like two huge bathrooms in Kiev. This one is quite small. What, what surprises me, and this is not the first time I see these things, the bathtub is really shallow. Tell me the reason why is it, why is it so shallow? Like, obviously you cannot make it longer, but you can make it deeper so that you can submerge into the water, but still. This house says it is one and a half bathrooms. Yeah. Which is this full bathroom and that toilet in the kitchen. So one and a half. You can kind of tell that it's a really old house because there's a huge crack on the ceiling. It's not really, uh, you have cracks. Perfect. Oh, yeah, perfect. it's not all... perfect. It's all cracked and... Uh, kind of flaky. Yeah, I don't know what is that. I hope it's not mold or... I don't know, it's not mold, it's just old paint. We yeah, have to repaint it. We didn't it. show our um, last room. Actually, this house is three bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, but at some point, the, someone like built another room that used to be an office or a, a den. A, a den, yeah. Like but, a winter garden or something. Yeah, but eventually it, it ended up being our master bedroom, a really small one because you cannot remove this. Uh, this what is that? Shelves. Shelves. You cannot remove this because there's no no flooring under it, uh, under it. So you have to kind of step it like this and like this, and this is my spot, so. Okay, how many times a day you do that? Exactly zero times. So who cares? <laughs> yeah, so. The, <laughs> it doesn't matter how much space. The most important part is the master bedroom, the king size. Oh my God. It, king size is not something that, well, you probably can buy uh, a bed this size in Ukraine, but we had smaller bed. But here, when you sleep, you kind of, you know, you scream and reach out to your spouse like, hey, hey, you're there? Yeah, the big bed is awesome. Except this dog. 
<laughs> he likes to sit with his butt on his pillow. So yeah, this room is pretty small, but we managed to put the bed, king size bed here, and my workspace. So the, for the most part, whole day long I spend here. So in the morning I wake up at like 6.30, and sometimes at 7 a.m. I have calls with Europe and kind of work here, then I eat and then I play games here. And the funny part is that behind that wardrobe, there's another door to, to the backyard, to the den and, and deck and the backyard. But there was no way we could fit a wardrobe here except on that spot, so we kind of covered the door. We don't need it, we don't use it. There's also a huge backyard and a garage, and I am probably will show you it in the next videos because I have a big plan for that garage, actually. Hope you like this uh, room tour. Hit like and subscribe to this channel. That will, that will uh, really show a support to our effort on YouTube. Thanks, bye.